Hey everybody, welcome to the DZ deck of the day. We're gonna play some mono colored decks all day and today we're starting with mono green. We got a couple new cards with the old growth troll and really, really good card, Vorinclex. So we're gonna see if we can, good old stompy time. All right, playing Leo Ligma. All right, here we go, here we go. Maybe our best hand today. This is what we're talking about. One drop, turn two, one drop, activate. Turn three, mutate. Turn four, do some of that stuff. Whatever, whatever, whatever we got going on here. And before it's doom scar, we just get doom scarred and lose or something. All right, love, Leo. When you were a kid, did you have a celebrity crush? Um, yeah, of course. Of course. I was young, young. Um, Gwen Stefani. Started with Gwen Stefani. I mean, Jessica Alba, like everyone thought she was hot. Um, dirty Christina Aguilera. Ex-Tina. Natalie Portman. All right. Tap land. Oh God! Can can I stop playing all these? <sighs> it's a lot of edge wall and rogues on the ladder today. You know, I'm 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 very tempted to just trade here. I'm like very tempted to trade. Kind of makes me think they don't have an adventure creature in their hand though. Very tempted to trade, but. I think we can, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, but now we have the, so they're, they're just like good in multiples. They're, they're probably Gruul or Naya here. So uh, a Stomp gives us a lot. This is like double insect. Ah, uh, should have maybe traded. Lady Godiva. Uh, what did I watch? Uh, super into Seinfeld. Super into Seinfeld. I mean, I guess these lands aren't terrible. I really hate to see a white land and then they have a Scald. Or, um... We're not gonna, we're not gonna mutate here. We definitely want to try to get some value. We're we're just gonna take the five. Hopefully they don't have cleave. You have a crone war. So maybe maybe they're just playing gruel here. It's cleave. So this is gonna at least be a trade here. Because we make it a 3-3 three, three, if they make it a 2-2. Two, two. Maybe just want to hit me for 12, though. Alright. And then we sandbagged our Gym Razor. And now we get to use it. I mean, we're, we're still in a, a lot of... Uh, we're still in a tight predicament. I don't, I don't need more land. So we're definitely not going to play that out tapped. Also, if we wait, we get to... Um, Activate one of these. We're going to go with the smaller one. Because uh, it's already going to be bigger than this Love Shark Beast. I have to apply pressure or we just lose. If they have Questing Beast, you know, I, I just have to take the four. I would be able to block with that and tap it into a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, when I was real young, though, I was in uh, Ninja Turtles, too. So this is a stomp, right? I think that's fine. I think they just want to do a two-for-one. We have to keep them off of hinges, which we, like, know is in the deck. So I'm pretty sure they just want to stomp here. Yeah, we get we get a lot of triggers. Um, I don't need to activate that. There's no real need. 
this doesn't have trample or anything. It's a lot of Vorin Clexes. This isn't too aggressive, is it? I would, uh, the, the best thing they can do is cleave or beast. Questing or cleave. So we're not dead to that. If I leave one blocker. Um, I could die to land, cle uh, questing beast, boulder rush. That's so unlikely. So unlikely. So questing beast would be six. Embercleave would be five. Uh, this is scary. This is scary. All right, the only two red sources. That's the worst thing, really. All the cards that they're drawn. The hell of a land pocket. They have to block that. Let's say I swing this, swing that, swing that. This is trample. They block five of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this just lethal? Block there. Block here. Block that. Three trample. Take five. So I can't swing everybody. We don't have lethal. So they put like the bone crusher in front of this. Block that as four. So they can't do it that way. So they have to they'd have to put the scavenging ooze here. And then block this with bone crusher. They end up taking three trample plus two, which is five. They go to one. And then I am dead to a lot of stuff. I, th I think I have to do this, and I, I, I honestly might just recast Vorinclex instead of Kazanda. What's going on, Titan? How you doing, man? How you doing? Scavenging Ooze is going to be a little annoying, but maybe not the end of the world. Uh, if you don't want to block... Oh, really? Does that mean Cleave's in their hand? Leave that. That's 10. Yeah, I, I need to cast this again. So if I just have a 3 Toughness, I put it there. I take 7 Trample. But if I have a 6 Toughness, we're taking 4 Trample. We'll leave this open so I can make that a 5-5. Five, five. All right. I think this is our path to victory here. I, I think I would have kept Scavenging Ooze. So that makes me think it was Cleave. Ooh, I can make a 5-5 five, five and trade. Alright, we just trade with our Swarm Shambler. We want to leave Vorinclex alive. They, they can't cleave now. I, yeah. I think, I think that's game for us now. This becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Not like it matters with the death touch and lack of trample. But killing it's important here. <laughs> Taking four toughness off their blocks. So I swing everybody, they can stomp that, take one, uh, put five toughness in front of that. I think that's game for us. I think that's game. They messed up. Oh, that's just even better. Even better. Let's really put them in, out of their misery. Maybe we hit a uh, Primal Might or something here. 
Uh, it looks like we got it anyways. What? So they can't win with Stomp. You don't even know how close you were. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Yeah, so like I said, they could stomp that, they still lose. Good game. Exacties. Losing at zero is the same as losing at negative 20. Winning at seven, same as winning at seven million. Diamond two, baby!